So hello everyone. Thanks for who come who basically came now and thanks for others who have basically stayed back to listen to this session. So I'm Prakash Senani. I'm joined by Ranbijay Kumar. Uh, we both work for BlackBerry as developer evangelist. As she said, you know, our job is to promote the adoption of BlackBerry 10 among developer communities in India. So the session's about NFC beyond payments, the new faces of mobile computing. So how many of you know about NFC? Oh, that's a huge majority. So I think <laughs> we don't need to stress too much on the basics. So near field communications. Near field communications is the technology that's generally associated with uh, payment systems. So you've probably seen cases where people use mobile phones instead of credit cards to pay for things. And that's enabled by NFC. So a lot of BlackBerry phones, well, actually all of the BlackBerry phones except one variant have NFC. So NFC is a short range radio. We are talking about few millimeters or centimeters. So generally the use case is you tap two things because that's when they come very close, like within centimeters of each other. Uh, so touch is the thing. Uh, tapping or touching is what NFC is generally associated with. You tap to make things happen. And that's the physical interactive experience that users have come to enjoy. It is, you know, tap to share a picture, tap to pay, tap to access your office and all those things. And you want to do it all on your mobile because you don't want to carry other set of cards, other uh, accessories and everything. So the good thing about NFC is this uh, it's an old technology, it started around 2004, uh, specially contributed by Nokia, Sony and Philips and it's based on standards. So it's there on other platforms, Android supports it, Windows supports it, or Windows Phone supports it and it's based on standards so when you want to basically make two NFC enabled devices interact with each other or talk to each other, you don't need to worry about where they are coming from. It's all standard based as long as the OEM has adhered to the standard, the devices will talk to each other. You'll be able to share pictures and do other things. And it's more than just radio. It's a secure way of basically doing things. So what can I do with NFC? As I said, you know, what is generally associated is with payment solutions. You, instead of using a credit card or paying at a shop or retailer or something. There are other uses of NFC and these are the ones that are really taking off. These are the ones that are creating the engaging user experience for the customers using their mobile phones. So tap to share, this is the other big one, which is as you know, I think many of you will have gone through that pain of you know pairing Bluetooth devices and figuring out how to transfer a picture, transfer a music, transfer a business card. With NFC you just tap and the content will be shared between two devices. And that's a very rich user experience. Again tap to pay, tap to pay, tap to access. This is again taking off which is uh, there are uh, few hotels that will basically allow you to uh, you know tap. Uh, to get into your room rather than use room keys or offices that will use these to access, these to allow you to access offices. Smart tags, so these are something new. These are like small tag chips uh, where they have some data in there and that tells the device what to do. So imagine a use case where uh, you basically are going to go to sleep and you want to set the alarm. You generally wake up at 7 o'clock, so you don't need to worry about the time that you want to set the alarm for. But you need to set the alarm. So you put a tag next to your bed. The moment you, you go next to the bed, just tap it, and your alarm will be set. And these, chip, these tags are very cheap. They are like 10 cents, 6 rupees. So you could basically automate your whole home this way, or retailers can use it to automate a lot of the shopping experience. Ticketing and access, as I said, uh, accessing theaters, access, accessing subways, metros, uh, these kind of things. Data exchange, again, exchanging pictures, media. 
These are just pictures depicting the same kind of usage. One interesting one is there, which is the passport. So you have an e-passport, an NFC-enabled passport, and because it's so secure, the governments trust it. They use it rather than any other technology to basically hold the information. Uh, this is another interesting picture. This is a key knob without a key. So you don't really need the key. You can just use the keychain to basically open the doors. Uh, this one, again, is uh, media streaming accessory. So rather than you know figure out where the accessory is connected, then stream music, just tap, and you will be able to stream music. These are the normal ways. The next slide is supposed to be funny to add some fun component. This this could be the really interesting way to use NFC, which is to hold your phones within centimeters of each other and talk. But uh, Ranbije will go over a lot of other use cases, a lot of practical use cases now. Thanks, Prakash. So again, good morning, everyone. And uh, let me take this opportunity to explain you see. We know uh, this NFC is the advanced APIs, uh, which is mostly, uh, you could say, uh, a gateway for the mobile computing uh, environment. So I have a very sh sh short of demos in my device, which I could show you. So currently, it is just like as a POC. But in the future, of course, when you will plot these little stuff into the broad levels, then you will find it will be useful for many of the places. So here, NFC, let's start with the NFC peer-to-peer -peer mode. So what essentially you do, so everything is right on the tab. So we have a various use cases, especially in our platforms available now that I will cover in my upcoming slides. So transfer data from one device to another. So it essentially what you do, it will help you to share information without relying on any other protocols. So I mean Bluetooth and all those. So we also have a possibility via NFC you start the initiation, make a pairing, then after you can expand and jump directly to the next protocols. So I will show you some interesting demos related to that stuff. Any kind of data. It should be photos. Some cases, there will be some limitation of the files memories that we are, uh, people are working around, around it. And as long as it is getting in, growing, it is coming into the picture in all the platforms. So not limited with any specific platform. So it's common for every platform. For larger items, so let NFC negotiate a Bluetooth connection. So this. I have very interesting examples. So let me show you. The, can you please switch to the lamp? So I have to my BB10 device. So what I'll do, there is a sample application called NFC server. So when I launch this application, there are some, some sort of pictures. So if I want to show how I can share data from one device to another device in just a tapping stuff, by a tapping way. So I have some pictures over here. Let me enable this, select this, then share files is there. So my both of the devices, NFC is enabled. Yeah. Now receive data transfer from RAN J30. So this is my the device name, RAN J30. When I click on the receive, it started to receive. Now the beauty part which I explained, see here. I'm just moving from that place. You know the NFC is having some frequency limitation and all those, but it is still receiving the files. What does it show? Initially it started the pairing via NFC. Now it's extended by Bluetooth. So we know the Bluetooth frequency is more than the NFC. Is it not something cool? Yeah. So here I received my files. So I know last people were not able to see the all files, what I have been received. So I will show again into the Elmo. It is somehow blurry. Yeah. So this is the files which I shared. Now, this way, 
we have another options also. We can share data as well, share URL also. So uh, by default, I put one URL here. When I click on into enable, and again, simply tap. Did I get notification? Yes. It's slow down, Wi-Fi, not by fault. <laughs> so obviously. So the purpose uh, the, with these demos, I just want to make you clear, we can transfer any kind of data via tapping stuff. So we have uh, many use cases and examples of which we are looking and observing in day-to-day -day activities. As Prakash has explained, for example, when you are traveling into the metro rails, there you have NFC tap. Simply you just tap it and go on your way. The same way, when you are going to the shopping mall and uh, some centers, there also you have to pay by NFC. So most of the people are moving to the smart environment and smart world. That is nothing, the mobile computing kind of st uh, latest environment. So what essentially you do, where you don't have to carry your money and everything. Via your NFC wallet itself, you can do all those things. So we have a best examples called PVR. They are running this NFC counters on their each and every branches. What essentially they are not entertaining people should come and they have an options. But they are asking you should come with the NFC wallet. Simply tap, pay. You can pay for your uh, ticket. You can pay for your uh, food or coupon. And also they have a loyalty points. So let me take to the next slide. Yes. And these all addition. Can you please switch to the back to the slides? Yeah. So these are loyalty cards options you have. Registration, redeeming cards, and coupons. A special deeds, barcode display, ticketings. So most of the people are aware with this. So since I'm running out of the time, so PBR stream as stuff I explained. So look at here. The tap to buy tickets, tap to buy food, and this all. So this there is the hardware which is available already into their counters, and you just go tap to buy and tap to ticket. Get the tickets and all. Now, this is something is interesting which is available on our latest. SDK uh, in our platform, smart triggers. So normally what is happening if you want to imp in implement this kind of functionalities in your application, you have to write a, some piece of code. But here it is not required. So what I'll do, I have an NFC chip. Can you please switch to Elmo? I have an NFC chip. Smart tag. So here I have added Smart triggers. So smart triggers options are there. When I click on it, it will ask me to what action you want to do. You want to launch application. You want to make your airplane mode off on Bluetooth option, notification. You want to switch off on anything you can do. So I have already added one program. So in this chip, then I will show you how it, you can and read. So if suppose I want to read something. For example, launch application. Add this. Then, yeah, voice controller. Okay, now I just write to NFC. What I will do? The data has been written by the NFC data. I'll close this. Again, I'll go here. The stack is trying to perform the following action. Hope it is visible to everyone. So I will click on allow. Call Prakash. Yes. Call Prakash. Prakash.
Okay. All right, so Ranvijay doesn't have Prakash in his contact, which is an obvious case. <laughs> but uh, the, the use case here is, you know, you buy these tags, say you buy 10 of these tags, you buy them for 60 rupees, 100 rupees. You use your phone, you write some program into it. So in his case, he said, you know, when I tap my phone to this particular tag or chip, it should launch the uh, voice recognition thing. So the use case will be he goes and sticks this into, your, into his car and uh, the moment he enters the car, he basically taps to the uh, chip and the voice uh, recognition is activated so he doesn't need to actually handle the device using his hand. He can just say call, text, navigate, all those things. As I was saying earlier case, next to a bed, you can have one that can set alarm. Uh, in a plane, the airline could basically put tags where you tap your phone and your phone will go into offline mode. So these are use cases of smart tags and they are numerous and this is what we see is going to happen in the near future where a lot of these places, retail outlets, airlines will have tags, your homes will have tags and you'll use NFC to have that engaging user experience where you tap and things happen. So basically, I want to show this via voice control. So what I exactly do? Via smart triggers, I just uh, launched my voice control applications. So when it gets launched, I just uh, ask to call Prakash. It is working, but I think uh, the, somehow the, co the contact missed up. So we have a standard demo called Rocking Cheers. We have uh, Rocking Chairs. They are my yeah. colleagues. And as you see, there are not only rocking chairs, they have stuff mounted on them. So and this isn't stock IKEA? You don't, you don't walk into IKEA in, in Stockholm and, and get hair dryers and lamps? No. no, no. Okay. <laughs> so these are uh, controllers for a game. So you sit down, attach your uh, device. OK, let's chair. give it a shot. So I guess I stick this right in here. Probably and one, of the, one of the most innovative game controllers I've, I've seen. And you control the paddles in the game by rocking back and forth. I see. So, uh, <laughs> so it's kind of like rocking chair tennis. Yeah. And I bet Pear is a member of the Swedish national rocking chair tennis team. Oh, we, oh yeah. Waiting to go pro anytime. OK. Well, I think this is going to be a little Canada versus Sweden uh, action, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, so, so these chairs are sending accelerator data to like a host device. And in this case, we have a Z30 running the game as a host. And um, to this host, there's a connection to a, an Arduino microcontroller mm -hmm. uh, that is controlling a relay board that's triggering these countermeasures. And these countermeasures, you can throw them upon your opponent when, during gameplay to make it harder for your opponent to stay alive. All right. So game on. All right, there we go. Oh! Take that. OK, so countermeasures work. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Light is. Can't see anything. Ah, oh, I, think, I think this is rigged. <laughs> there. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, this is tough, blinding light. Ah! All right, 2-2, two, two. this is it. Two, two. This is all on the line right here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. Good we'll, we'll leave it with that. <laughs> Thank you, Pear. So, uh, so you develop this using, uh, using all of the new APIs available in Canada. Yeah, so this is a very engaging game experience. How would you like to start the game? You know, go there, find a player, tap, and do all that. You're next to the person, right? You want to tap and start. So that's the, that's the thing that NFC basically enables, that's you, this user experience where you tap, you can pay, you can play, you can do a lot of stuff. So... That's what we had to cover in this session, which is, you know, NFC is secure, it's based on standards, it's got a variety of use cases, and it has this rich user experience that the mobile users want. So any questions?
Nobody has any questions, so we are anyways out of time. So yeah. thanks again for coming along. Yep. And Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you, Prakash. Thank you, Ranbijay.